Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome everyone to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe so that we can get those algorithms up. Um, everything on this video is uh, for entertainment purposes only. Um, uh, I'd like to say um, peace, love, and blessings to everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is just a sad day all around, man. And um, I want to send my condolences out to Quavo. Um, take off the whole entire family. Um, this is really, really just a sad moment right now for the entire family, the rap community. Because this was truly one of the good guys. And um, it was just unfortunate what happened. I know that... Um, we got a lot of bloggers and everybody saying that he was sacrificed. Personally, I don't believe that he was sacrificed. I just believe this was an unfortunate situation. Um, but it is some questions surrounding this, okay? Um, and that first question is, everybody is around family. Everybody that was at that private party was under the same umbrella, Okay, they were all considered family. Okay, um, how an argument ensues and how gunfire ensues, I, I have no idea how that happened. Um, and I would tell you this if I was a major boss and that was my city, um, somebody would have, be, had to have be held responsible for that. Um, not quite sure yet who fired first or how this ensued, but it's just a tragedy beyond. I mean, this was truly a good brother um, from all standards. You didn't see him too much in the limelight. He didn't have any children. Um, he was young. He was only 28 years old, man. You know, um, I've been following Migos since way back, man. I'm talking about early 2000s. Uh, one of their main songs was that Young Rich Niggas. Man, I used to bang that. Um, but I have been following them ever since, you know, and I kind of, I like I like what they do, man. You know, um, but this is just an unfortunate situation, man. I'm, I, you know, it's this, this, this vibration and this energy is, is all demonic. It really is, and they feeding off all of us, because, uh, you know, it's a whole lot of people that are feeling bad behind this, you know. One thing I do understand and believe, okay, if you're not under the covering of the true and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our true, our King, Jesus, if you're not under that, you're susceptible to anything, man, and it's unfortunate you know, these brothers are in that limelight. These brothers are having that, that bread. They're having that money. Um, and sometimes you, you got to pay that price, man. And it's unfortunate. The rap game right now, um, it, it just, it, that ain't where it's at. And it's sad because that I used to want to be there. I had the talent and everything. Um, eventually, I'll put my um, music on here. I'll show you guys where to go and find my music on um, Reverb Nation. Um, I had an opportunity to sign a contract, and, and back then I didn't do it, and I'll kind of get into that on a, a later video. But this ain't where it's at, man. I got a son that's talented, that's cold, but I don't even want him involved with it. It ain't where it's at no more. It's dangerous. It's demonic. It is filled with so much hatred um and it, it, it's just sad man it's sad and um it's just not where it's at no more man you know you you want you used to want to um show your kids um or want them to showcase their talent so that they can you know have a better life for themselves but Music and rap nowhere is, is no longer where it's at, man. Satan has taken over, and, and it's just sad. I, you know, it's, it's getting to the point where I'm just getting sick of this shit. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm tired of every time I turn on my TV, it's negativity. It's, 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 um, 
LGBTQ this, it's, it's, it's homicides this, somebody done died over here, they bombing over here, they doing this, they, that's just sad, man. Then I'm looking at these, these primates, not prime, um, um, these, um, candidates now going at each other. It's that, that even looks personal. They're getting personal. It's just too much negative energy out here right now. And it's sad. Um, I don't believe Jay Prince Jr. had anything to do with it, but I do believe that they need to hold whoever fired that first shot accountable, whether it was on Quavo's team or whether it was on Jay Prince's team. They need to handle that because this brother was not supposed to die. Um, right now, it looks like Houston is it has a very, very dark cloud over it. Many, many lives are being lost in that city. And something has to be done. Um, I n already know that if you guys haven't watched my videos, you got to go back and watch um, uh, my videos of the Hidden War, um, chapter 1, 2, and 3. Y'all got to watch those. I'm trying to put together some pieces to show y'all that it's a much deeper war out here. But in this case, this was just unfortunate, man. There's no way that guys from who are part of the same family should have been arguing or um, letting off shots. Um, it's just crazy, man. I don't understand what's going on, but in a way I do. Again, Satan is involved in all of this. The energy and the vibe, y'all got to understand, uh, uh, we are still feeling the effects of um, Satan holiday, which is Halloween. Y'all, everybody who follows that and celebrates Halloween, y'all got to understand y'all are celebrating in with Satan. You dress up and you do all that crap and you put, you, you're, you're transferring spirits onto yourself and onto the environment that you are in. Um, but like I said, man, this is very unfortunate. We got to stay in prayer and we got to lift each other up, man. You know, um, these brothers, I, I I really feel bad for Quavo because watching that video, man, that brother was truly traumatized and I felt his pain. I lost a brother before and I felt that. And that's why I don't think, you know, this, it, we, we quick, I, I'm a firm believer that sacrifices do happen. They do. And it's a lot going on. But in this case, this wasn't, this was truly an accident and it shouldn't have happened. It just shouldn't have happened, man. And somebody got to be held accountable. Um, but I just wanted to make this quick uh, video, man. Uh, sending out my condolences and showing my respect to um, Quake um, Takeoff and his family. Um, again, you know, they, the, all three of the Migos, man, even though they were, you know, not seeing eye to eye, they, they that's family. And you so you know, already know how um, his other brother was feeling. Offset is, is hurt too. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just unfortunate, man. The whole entire family, I know they're grieving. And like I said, I lost a brother before and I know that pain. So I just sent out my love my, and condolences and my prayers to the entire family. Um, we got to do better, man. We got to, we got to, we got to stay prayed up. Um, but again, I, I peace, love, and blessings to everybody. Stay safe and stay prayed up. And remember, truth is always stranger than fiction.